Growing Grace teachers, I wanted to give you a little heads up on a cool thing I learned how to do. Um, it's about setting up your assignments for the next semester. If you have a class that you have already taught in the past, and it doesn't matter how long in the past, it could be a couple years ago, three years ago, whenever it was, um, there's a really cool thing you can do to set up your classes for this next year. So in pre-algebra here, I haven't set up the assignments yet. So I'm about to do that. If you click Setup, Import, Export, and then Copy Assignments from Other Class, it's going to copy whatever assignment you select into this term from that term. So I'm going to click, I want to pull in first semester of last year, and I want to pull in the pre-algebra class, the assignments from the first semester last year to go into the first semester of this year. So I'm gonna click OK. Now all of the assignments that I had from the first semester of last year in pre-algebra are copied into the first semester of this year. That is so much faster than having to do each one individually. The only thing that's left to do is you do have to put in the date that they are due. So for intro to pre-algebra, I put it in on the Friday after parents night. So they have to do that then. And then after that, if you notice, once you assign it, it goes to the bottom. Everything undated floats to the top but it's in the order that it was in last time. So I'm going to start putting in dates. So this would be that first Monday. And then what I like to do, or what I've learned and start, have started doing, is I'm going to click Start, and I want this to be available the Sunday before, and I want it to close the Sunday after. And I like to turn everything on right at midnight, so the, I just like to put it in at 11.59 p.m. Just because that's what time I like to do it. You could type in whatever time you like. But I like to turn them on at midnight and turn them off the f midnight two weeks later. So they have a week before and a week after um, before the assignment is turned off. Now, keep in mind, I have let students redo this anytime. So they can open it back up and redo an assignment. But the system is going to turn it off, which is an indicator to me of when I need to make sure I have a slash marks in to show that it's a missing assignment. And it's going to also be an indicator to me that once the system turns it off, if they go back in and redo it, it automatically flags me that a, a student has turned in a, a different assignment or an older assignment and needs to be graded. So it gives me an alert through a symbol. So that's something to think about using this. Also, if I set this up the same for all of my assignments, so let's say lesson three, it shows up on Tuesday, and then I'm gonna set my start date for that Sunday, end date for that following Sunday, and because I've already copied this, I could paste it. So that makes that a little bit faster. But if I do that, then I do not have to worry about turning on these assignments throughout the year. It will automatically turn on for me if I go ahead and take the time to set it up now. So if you have assignments that you can copy over, that is a great way to get this done and save yourself a lot of headache. Um, also, if it's a class that you do, like we do the same math every every year, um, Pre-algebra is pre-algebra is pre-algebra, right? But sometimes we want to change up the problems or we found an error and we need to correct it. Or we just want to add problems because we think the lesson needs to be a little bit more in depth or longer. Then we can detach the pod, work on it, and then reattach it by clicking the attach button. So those are some things that you could do. So I'll show you how to do that. You just click detach, detach it, then go into attach. Once you go, once you fixed your Junopod, you can go into attach, click the Junopod, and then go to let's see this lesson three, pre-algebra lesson three, and click attach. So now that lesson is back on there after I've made whatever adjustments I want to make. 
and it's ready to roll. And that is, that is all you need to do in order to set these up. One cool thing or a cool trick that I do is when I want to do the next lesson is automatically at the top, the one that you haven't done next. And if you um, forget what date you put here, like let's go, say I've got a lesson four, this should be 816. So if I want to go to lesson five and I forget what I did, I can go back and look, but then you can also scroll to the bottom of your list and see the most previous date that you've recorded. So this is going to help you a lot whenever you need to schedule things. You can say, oh, I forgot what date I just did, or you had to get up and go do something and come back. You can see it. You can also just click done, see what you have, pick up where you left off. But that is how you can quickly create assignments for a class you've taught previously that you're going to teach again this year. I hope that helps you. If you have any other questions about the system, please feel free to ask.